Hamza Bey. Uh, How are you? Mirhaba. Mirhaba, Sir Tarqueen. How are you, my friend? You're doing I'm well. doing very well. I'm okay. doing very well. Okay. How, how about what, what have you been up to? Boy, how every are? every everything, Mick. Everything. Everything. This has been a very busy summer for me. Busy summer. Mm -hmm. So uh, everything is cool. Everything is okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy for uh, I'm so happy to read it. Yeah. 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 Everything is everything is coming. I'm now, you know, I I have like two more weeks, three more weeks, I guess, mm -hmm. before I have to go back. So I'm getting a little stressed right now. I feeling I'm feeling it, you know, because uh I when I go back there I don't know what to expect, you know, in Spain. Yeah, you are getting uh, I think you are getting ex so excited <laughs> to go there. I, I don't know if I'm so excited I mean, to go there, to be honest with you. I'm, it's funny because I've gotten used to living here. I've gotten uh -huh. used to like, the comforts of here, you know, the comforts of the food, having all kinds of variety of foods, my nice home that I could relax in, you know. Uh, the weather is every day storms and we get rainstorm in the afternoon. I you described know, your uh, house as a palace. <laughs> no, I would say palace. No, it's a nice. So the, it's not a palace, but it's a nice. A big structure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, you know, in in comparison to say what you would find uh, in other places, you know, like in mm -hmm. Spain, this is a palace in comparison to Spain. Spain, I live in a small apartment, you know, so mm -hmm. it's different. But here, I'm spread out, you know. I have my little doggy that I could, you know, hang out with, you know, I could, we go to train, my son goes training every day. So I go to training with him. I meet people. I talk to friends, you know, this kind of camaraderie. I have a lot of things here that I don't have when I'm in Spain. Your relatives in there and your friends in there. And exactly. Uh, yeah. You feel you probably you feel better uh, when you are there because you was, born, you were born in, uh, Florida, right? No, no, New York. I was I'm in New York. And yeah. You are living in Florida right now? Yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've yeah. lived here for the last, since 19, I mean, since 88, on and on, you know. I'm 88. Yeah, I came here in 1988. So that was uh, how many years ago? 30 years ago. Oh. Over 32 years ago, I came to Florida. So you are not belong to, you are not belong to New York. Right. No, well, not, <laughs> any, not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah. I'm not, I live more. I've lived more of my life in Florida than I have in New York. So I'm no longer a New Yorker, you know, technically, if you want to, you know, so they always ask the question, where you come from? Where do you come from? So it's hard for me mm -hmm. to answer that question. Because yeah. Be, we, in Turkey, we say, for example, um, I was born in Krikale, right? Uh, right. And right. I live in Istanbul. Right. Uh, right. And we say the address. Is Istanbul, but right. place is Istanbul. Uh, no, um, how? No, 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 no. Uh, we say plaka in Turkish, right? Plaka, plaka. Yeah. For example, I have a car, and uh -huh. uh, as you know, there's a plate, right, uh, behind the car, right? Right. And we say the plate is uh, the, the the plate number. For uh, for Istanbul, seventy one, okay. And for Kırıkkale, uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, seventy one. For Istanbul, for thirty uh, four. We say okay. the plate is seventy one, but okay. uh, the place is Kırıkkale. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, this sorry, is a little bit complete, but when you translate in Turkish, it's so funny. Okay, so you 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 you. Your, where you live is uh -huh. on your plate. Is on the in the, on the, the exactly the, right. the, the light. What we call the license plate. We call it the license plate. Your license plate. A license plate. Yes. Yeah, and the car, the ta or the tag. You know the tag. But where you so you're but you're born in Krikale. So you know you say I'm Krikale, but I have my plate is it. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. People always ask me that question, but it's hard for me to say like where I'm from because it's so complicated. You know, sometimes that question, yeah. very complicated. Yeah. Yeah. People uh, belong to where they burn, where they where they eat, right? In we say in Turkish. For example, 
uh, I am fitted uh, uh, in Istanbul. That's why I am belong to Istanbul. Right. <laughs> if, right. if I am belong to, if I uh, am fitted. Uh, for example, Krikale, I belong to Krikale. Right. right, right, exactly, exactly. Can well, I show you, know, you a picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show, show, no, 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 show me, show me a picture. Of course I can. Yeah, uh, yesterday, and maybe you cannot see this, but it's so uh, wet. This is my uh, uniform. Oh, okay. That, okay, and, that's your uniform. Yes. Uh, as you see, it is so dry, uh, dry right? Uh huh. Uh, bottom of the my uniform, but mm -hmm. uh, can you see the difference? So very yeah, so dry. I see it. Right, right. So why why is that? And so your uniform is kind of a mauve mauve color. It's kind of like a you know, it's like a yeah. rose, a rose. Yeah, a red, anyway. like a rose. Okay. Um, so I why? Oh, you sweat it for, at your job. Yeah, because uh, I uh, I put uh, go on it. I put uh, go on the, ha has the hazard hazard suit. The uh, the hazmat suit hazmat 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 is donning and duffing. I mean, right? Yeah, hazmat suit is a suit that you wear. Hazmat suit is the one that you put on. Uh, okay. So that you don't get the virus, you know, you put the hazmat suit. On. Exactly, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's called yeah, a hazmat suit. Has, hazmat suit, right? I hazmat suit, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I have, uh, I have, uh, I have, I had not another suit, mm -hmm. and I sweat it a lot, and right. I, I feel so disturbed. Okay. It it yesterday it was so terrible for me, and I mm -hmm. uh, worked for twenty four hours in the hospital, at the mm -hmm. hospital, right? Yeah, twenty four hours at the hospital, right? At the hospital, and so, so you started your new job then? You started your yes, new I job. yesterday I started, I did. Oh, congratulations! congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, but so, I I had trouble so with many things yesterday oh, because. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, the hospital the hospital wasn't crowded yesterday but okay. the problem is uh, I uh, I started the job normally uh, the hospital plans I, mm -hmm. I I am a pediatric nurse right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, they work for me added uh, added clinic right okay added okay. clinic and right. I I uh, didn't after here, I I didn't uh, any other patient. I didn't work with. Uh, no, I didn't deal with many other uh, any other uh, patients until adult. here. Okay, adult other patients or adult patients. Adult. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you never. So you've always dealt with children. Children. Pediatrics. Yeah. Children. Okay. And that's why. Uh, I I felt so stressed because I don't know I didn't know that I didn't right. know that because right. I didn't know their cares and mm -hmm. their treatments right right and um, that was in a mm -hmm. different area mm -hmm. uh, I uh, was not guessed to work in there okay that's so terrible I <laughs> I uh, usually sweat. Right. Uh, I usually, uh, how could say this? I usually sweat it. No, usually what you. you I know. Okay. Not there are two different words. words. There's the word sweat. Sweat is okay, but we, a more t formal word to use, perspire. I sweat it is all. Pers pers yeah, perspire. Ah. Uh. Perspire, perspire, or pers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I usually perspire. Perspire me is sweat. It's sweat. I perspire. If I say I, yeah. I perspire, is that true? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. It's more. It's more clinical. It's it's nicer. Yeah. So sweat is like, oh man, I was sweating. You know, it's very informal. Hey, I was. It was so hot. I was sweating a lot. But if perspire. you say, uh, 
you know, it was really hot outside. I was perspired. You see, when I saw hard, when I saw work hard, I perspire. Yeah, yeah. When you work hard, you perspire. You perspire a lot, or you, you could. I mean, you could say sweat a lot. That's okay. Sweating is good. Sweating is okay. okay. I'm just giving you. I'm just giving you a different. I just give you a more formal, like if you go and speak to uh, someone in, in your hospital, they direct it. Mm -hmm. You're not going to say, or let's say you're speak, you're in an American hospital. You said, man, I was sweating. I, I was sweating a lot. No, you said, oh, it was very hot. I was perspiring a lot. You see? Now, mm -hmm. if, you tell your, if you tell your friends on the street, ah, man, I was sweating. You're not going to say to your friends, I was perspiring. You know what I mean? It's different. Yeah, thanks. I need yeah. to learn medical English, but I will. Well, it's not so much medical. Yeah, well, it's medical. That would be a more medical term they would use if they use. Now, mm -hmm. tell me about the patient. Oh, he was perspiring a lot. I noticed that his temperature was very high, and he was perspiring because of his uh, of the the fever, the high fever he was mm -hmm. having, which is a good sign because when you perspire, you're getting rid of the toxins of the body, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you were perspiring. So you were. So you tell me. So. You had a lot of adult patients. So how did you feel like having to deal with a adult patient? What was the difference, you think? Because normally when I uh, when I deal with the uh, pediatric cases, right? Uh -huh. uh, they need to uh, they need to their parents. They need to they need they uh, they need their parents, right? Right. They need their parents, right? Yeah, Consent. I don't them. Right. Consent. Yeah, they need their parents to. Uh, well, consent means to give them because they're their children. So they're yeah. the parents, and if they if you have to do anything, you have to consult their parents. You exactly it is. Yeah, yeah. But an adult is different. Yeah. Yeah, adult is different because they don't need to uh, another person behind them, right? Okay. Near right. them. Uh, right. That's why, for example. That's why I have to uh, deal with uh, their old problems, right? Right. I have to follow the. I I I have to follow their vital signs uh, consistently, and mm. uh, vital signs. Vital, vital signs. Vital, vital. I think. V i t a vital. V i t. Signs. Vital signs. V I T A L. They're vital signs. Vital signs. You know, like the heart rate, oxygen, exactly. all of those factors. Yeah. And also, we say the in Latins, right? Mm -hmm. Medical terms. Decupitus. Right. Do you know this? Which word? Decupitus. Uh, I'll... Decupitus. Have you heard of it? No, not I don't think so. And I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll write it for you. Yeah. Um, it it means bed wound, right? For example, it means bed, what? bed wound. Bed wounds, bed wounds. Yes. Oh, you mean uh, you, you mean uh, like if they have any problems in their body from bed sores, bed yeah. sores? Yeah, be, because uh they don't move so long. right they're in one position all the time so they get something yeah. called bed sores bed sores yeah so you have to turn them around now how old are these patients how old are these patients it depends uh, because okay. uh one some of them over 60 years old okay, okay. Uh, even Mm -hmm. There are there even uh, over there there were even uh, over eighty mm -hmm. years old patients, right? right. And uh, approximate no mm -hmm. um, average or can I say how can I is there any word to describe it average or average yeah the average age the average age you could say the average yeah. age. The average uh, age over 50. Okay, over 50. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the average age is over 50. Okay. So they're so they're um they're elderly. 
so there elderly. you have you have many elderly patients you have to deal with it elderly yes it is uh, people who are yeah. over 65 and over exactly yeah yeah so i would be classified as a middle age uh, as a middle age yes yeah <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> maybe. yeah maybe maybe yeah. You look so great, man. It's the same you listen, listen to me. I got to ask you a question. How you like my haircut? What do you think of my haircut? Your haircut? Yeah. Do you notice uh, anything? How does your haircut look? Your haircut look... Um, I need to describe. Okay. <laughs> Be honest. It is yeah. so suitable, right? Uh-huh. Uh yeah. Uh, you don't look. You don't look uh, older. Okay, right? okay. Right, you have a right. style. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no. Because what happened is my wife gave me my haircut. She gave me my hair. Wow. Yeah, yeah. But but no, 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 no. Listen, she made a mistake. She made a couple of mistakes. You understand? No, because made, it cannot. She see. Made, I know you can't see it, but it's there. I have to cover it up because I said, "What happened?" Oh my God! You cried. No, it, it doesn't like. It doesn't look like that. Your oh. your your hair because, but oh. I I see, uh, far from. <laughs> yeah, I that's okay. Far. that's okay. That's good thing because but it's it, it's good. I think it, it'd be too funny. It'd be too funny. What happened? She yeah. goes, Oh my God! I can't believe it. <laughs> uh, is there? Yeah, right here. She, she uh, like, oh okay. my god. What <laughs> 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 I did. So I, oh I, have to go like, I have to go like <laughs> My son is laughing. He's been, every time he sees me, he starts laughing. He goes, <laughs> 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 it's so embarrassing. I said I have to I have to wear a hat in Camly. <laughs> Can I laugh at you? <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, it's okay. okay. It's called a uh, it's called a co uh, coronavirus haircut. You know, mm. they, uh, no, because no, no. it's it's uh, not bad. It's not bad. All right, that's good. Uh, that's good. Uh, you have so, a style. Well, you know the the thing is, it's uh, one of my students just now. You know, one of my uh, a young lady that I've known a long time. You know, she's mm -hmm. been my student for a long time. Well, I haven't seen her for a while. I haven't seen her in a few months, like six months. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, she's from, anyway, it doesn't matter where she's from. But she goes, hey, Tarquin, you, uh, are you uh, been worrying? You look like you, you're more gray. Your hair is more gray now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She said, you, did she you said dye your hair? Oh. Well, she said, I'm getting more gray. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, maybe it's true. Maybe, maybe I'm getting a little gray these days. Why English people say uh, gray hair instead of white hair? Because in Turkish we say white hair instead of gray hair. Well, because there's there's white hair and there's gray hair. There's white hair and gray hair. It means same. It's different. Well, technically it's the same, but it's different. You know, people have white hair. You know, like uh, there's certain people their hair is white. Mm -hmm. uh, but my hair, you know, but usually we call it gray hair because it's gray. It looks gray. Oh, it's, okay. not, it's not entirely white. But there's some people who have white hair, you know. But it's nature. Nature is, uh, you know, I'm fortunate. That most of my life I've had, my hair has always been something I never had a problem with. You know, most men mm -hmm. I know younger, much younger than I am, they lost their hair already. I don't, I don't have that problem, you know. And mm -hmm. I've always had a full head of hair, you know. It is important that your energy, your you have right. energy that's important, because right. you will not uh, you will not be old, because right. uh, I think you you will have you you will every time have more energy, uh, right? To so many energy, right? A lot of energy, a lot of a energy. lot of energy, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, you know, for for me. You know, the important thing is, is constantly keeping active, right? It's activity, mm -hmm. you know, mentally stimulating yourself and physically, you know, but, it's, you know, right now is mentally is the most important. You have to continually stimulate yourself. Yeah. 
So tell me, so you, you were telling me, so you go to your job. So tell me, first mm -hmm. of all, you go there, you, this is your first time at a facility, right? Did you know any of the nurses or anyone there or is this the first time? Yeah, because uh, the hospital was open uh, four months ago. And, oh, okay. Uh, hospitals, personals, right? Staffs yeah. has, uh, uh, were sent as uh, my previous hospital. Oh, okay. And all of them uh, came to the hospital and at the, uh, my previous hospital. That's okay. why I uh, I knew, I, I know most of them because I worked uh, most of them uh -huh. uh, together in uh, previous hospital. Okay. And yeah, I, I, I didn't uh, any problem in there about uh, them because okay. they tend to um, they tend to learn they, they tend tends to teach uh, what mm -hmm. I needed. Okay. Okay. Oh wow! I used what? <laughs> Is that correct? What I needed? Yeah. Yeah. They. They. Teach. Yeah. They it's tend to for me because they tend, they tend to teach what you needed. What you needed. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah. They attend to me. They attend to teach what I am needed. That's why right. it's, it's. I didn't travel about a uh, person. We say person, not person. Uh, in Turkish, person means staff. Mm -hmm. uh, it's similar. That's why I mix them. Uh, okay. Staffs, right? My uh, colleagues. Right, right. Okay, so so you're familiar. You're familiar with these people, then. You're familiar with the procedure. I send you're, the link. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. familiar. Uh, yes. You are familiar, uh, familiar with. Familiar. Right, familiar mm -hmm. with the people and the procedure. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a difficult transition for you, for you. Uh, it wasn't a diff, as difficult a transition. It was uh, you were familiar with kind of what you your routine you had to do, and uh, it was. Now, are you shadowing someone now, or are you just on your own? Uh, shadowing? Could you could you say that again? Yeah, shadowing, shadowing. I think shadowing. I uh, I think second one. Okay. Okay. Shadowing means um, I need um, your I need their help, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you know, you're following someone to find out. No, you know no, how. No. You do. Oh, okay. Okay. You I took, to. for example, um, there were mm -hmm. over nine uh, patients. Okay. Uh, who who need to take their blood, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and for example. I have to uh, take a blood from a patient, and oh, okay. I I took uh, nine uh, between five and seven two mm -hmm. uh, blood uh, from there, and okay. I took uh, over forty two. Uh, mm -hmm. I I took over forty two blood from the patients oh, on okay. my own, okay. and uh, we. Oh, you, you took, was it 42 different patients or 42 uh, vials or vials, tubes? Tubes, right. Okay, we call them vials. Yeah, they, they were internal medicine, medicine's patient, patients. And uh, they were, they their veins were very bad, take yeah. blood, to right, uh, right. take blood. That's yeah. why it was so hard, but I did. Because... Oh. Uh, I I told I told the nurse get away because I am a pediatric nurse. I can take a blood <laughs> better than you. All right. And I'm just, I, I was joking with them. And oh, okay. I took all of them and they did other steps. Okay. It, 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 okay. it was good. Yeah. Okay. Now were the patients yeah. hydrated? Were they hydrated? Um, I'm sorry. Hi. Hydrated. Hydrated. Like for example, hydrated, yeah, right. yeah, right. Hi, yeah, hydrated because if not, it's hard to find the vein. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not hydrated, you don't have a lot of blood in your vein. Yeah, yeah. And I can say about them, uh, hydrated and uh, um, slippery, right? Slip, yeah, slippery. 
Yeah, slippery. Because when you when you take the blood, you yeah. have to you have to hide hydrate it. Make sure you get the um the, the right vein. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, okay. I, I, I think, tower. What happened to the, it's? I only see the discussion. You cannot see this. Can can. No. I only see which one is it? Which one we're doing? Backpacking challenge and growing population colors advertising. Uh, tower. Uh, I think I sent I... you the. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Listen. I'll, I'll send you the link. Send me because I don't mm -hmm. have Eiffel Tower. I have like material, but not the Eiffel okay. Tower. Okay. Uh, lesson twenty six. Okay, I I I found it. Okay. okay. As soon as uh, I I will send you the link as soon as possible. Yes, I send it. Oh, okay. Let's get that. Let's see. Eiffel Tower. Have you have you mm -hmm. ever visited? Of course, I've been to the Eiffel Tower myself. I've climbed the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, that wow. you know, I've climbed it up to the second platform, and that's as high as you could go. I think I don't know. How how did you climb there? Well, they have um, there's really? stairways. there's stairways. No, there's uh, stairs that you could climb up inside the tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a uh, stairs. Yeah, but um, I I have a, somewhere I have a photograph of that. I have to see if I could find it on your account on Instagram. No, not in, I, I haven't posted it. I have one a photograph, mm -hmm. but they have other people in the photograph. That's why I didn't post it. You know, it's not just me in the photograph. There are other people. You know, but uh, mm -hmm. I have one. I have one with me by myself. But I have to look for that. I have to look for that. Yeah. I have to look. When for I that. when I visit there, I must post a photo in there. You have to. It's okay. like you can't go to the Eiffel Tower without having mm -hmm. a photo. <laughs> You'd be like with all the thousands of Japanese and Chinese. They get up, ah, I get to take a photo, a photo, everybody together, photo, ah, taya, oh yeah. Their accent is so funny. Yeah, photo, okay, back, bus, bus. Hurry up, bus, bus, go. They, they go off, they take a photo, get back in the bus, and they go. <laughs> I don't like to take so many photos because I want to enjoy the moment. Uh, and uh, the most important thing, uh, enjoy it, right? Because I, I, I go somewhere to enjoy there, right. enjoy right. it. But enjoy I don't, it. I don't want, I, I don't want to, I, I, I don't go somewhere to mm -hmm. show uh, my activities. Uh, right. And my, per, uh, my first aim to mm -hmm. enjoy, right? Mm -hmm. And cons uh, and later, I I can share my photos, right? Because right. I I visited many places in Istanbul, but right. um, I shared uh, how to say. I need to remind. It. I'm sorry for that. Well, if I can one in ten. Okay. Okay. So you say that again. What did you say just now? One in ten. I shared my photos oh, in Istanbul. One on ten. One in ten. One or. One in ten. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to share every photo, but you know, you want to. You know, going to the Eiffel Tower is important. You know, it's a memory. It's a memor um, uh, memo momentous moment. A momentous mm -hmm. area. You know, it's one of the eight wonders of the world, the Eiffel Tower. So you want to be able to go there. So let's talk about the Eiffel Tower. Let's look at the vocabulary. Okay. okay. Installation. So first, right. So what is installation? Installation, it means uh, like the description. For example, uh, I remember big tents. Right, um, right, and uh, they might be inst installation, 
right um for example uh for example they uh, i don't know this uh, they they set up uh, a tent installation right is that correct maybe yeah installation tent yeah a tent is an installation it's a facility a structure somewhere usually as a temporary form of art well i mean it doesn't necessarily have to be a uh it doesn't have to be a form of art like his latest installation will be exhibited in the town square for a month so it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be yeah you, you could set up for example i'll give you an example uh, the hospital had many different patients. They had an overflow of COVID-19 patients. So they created a separate mm -hmm. installation in order to house patients or to have admissions for patients. It's, uh, it's a new, it's a, not a facility installation the in, to install something, okay? Install right. something, yeah. Right, installation. Okay. And it could be yourself. Right. Uh, art, maybe, maybe mm -hmm. book, right? Maybe authors. Correct. Absolutely, absolutely. Enduring, enduring. Enduring means lasting for a long time. And oh. um, how can I describe from another way? Uh, for example. Give me an example. Uh, enduring, enduring is an adjective, right? Right. And the, the house is an enduring structure. Right. Is okay, it? the house, no, it's a period of time enduring. So usually you could use uh, the word endure. It's something mm -hmm. sometimes it has a certain negative connotation to it. So for example, gosh, that was a, that wedding was really, really boring. I had to endure it for 12 hours, two, three hours. It mm. could be negative. It's a length of time where you have to do something. It's kind of, of uh, stay. Maybe. Right. Exactly. Enduring. Okay. So the next one. Uh, well, I think structure, you know, right? Yeah. Structure. Um, the oh, word enchanting, enchanting, enchanting. It means uh, literally charming, right? Correct. Exactly. Uh, I didn't know alluring. Alluring means it's something alluring a charm, bringing you in, bring you in. Allure, to lure someone into it. Okay, for example, yeah, I had a, I had a conversation with a, a very attractive young lady. She was very enchanting. She, you yeah. know, I was her, her, her. Uh, she her, her body language was very alluring. Alluring, okay. yeah, very, uh, you know, attractive. You know, alluring. You know. I will lure someone is to bring somebody into you to sed, like seduce them, seduce them. You know? mm. I met so a girl, she was mm -hmm. so en enchanting, right? The word enchanting, or I could say to you, Hamza, you know, we we have a we've had a really enchanting conversation, it's very enchanting conversation. Conversation, enchanting is we you have. could say, uh, like for example, when I meet someone, when I'm really like in my suave mood, suave, you know, when I'm mm -hmm. going, to, in my younger days, when I saw, I said, you know, uh, it's very enchanting to meet you, very enchanting to meet you, you know. It, mm -hmm. you, tell, you tell a young lady, it's very enchanting to meet you, you know, you know, it's like, yeah, man, it's good. You know? It's a way to get them, like, you know, roses, <laughs> or red, their face get all red, you know, you understand? Yeah. It's a charm, to charm someone, charm someone. Uh, red know? roses? No, red. Blush. We call that blushing. Blushing. A blushing, yes. Yeah, we said you're very enchanting. Yeah. You I said, you know, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you <Yeah. say. laughs> okay. Uh monument. Monument. Monument, uh, this kind of structure, but uh it comes from history, right? Or a, a country's culture. But I think um it's uh, it's related to the uh, Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower is a monument. Correct. It's similar yeah. to, but but uh, not totally the same. It's right. obelisk. Right. right. 
but it's similar obelisk obelisk, obelisk. is kind of have, have you heard oh. of it no no uh, ob obelisk obelisk hi obelisk. what's obelisk? what's that I don't um, know over obelisk. I don't know what that circle is. Circle structure. Uh, I, circle structure. Okay. For example, the, there's a one in Istanbul. Um, yeah, in in Istanbul, in near to, it's so close to uh, Hagia Sophia. Oh, okay. It's close to Hagia Sophia. This. Oh, okay. It's like. It's a monument. Okay, so that's a monument to the dead, like military, mm -hmm. right? To the dead. Yeah, it's no uh, in in the Ottoman Empire. Mm -hmm. uh, in times Ottoman Empire, uh, mm -hmm. a sultan of uh, Ottoman Empire uh, came, came it came this okay. obelisk from okay. Egypt, right? Okay. Uh, you can see the word oh i see i see yeah. okay it's so what is that say? what's the word say what's that say uh, i don't know there there are many pictures right um oh, oh okay so yeah. it's um is what they call um hieroglyphics 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 yes yeah okay. and behind this uh, obelisk i saw many christian things because uh, in Byzantines, uh, in times of Byzantines, right, the Byzantine, right, Byzantines, yeah, uh, they had some things. I saw mm -hmm. a cross, mm -hmm. and yeah, right. this uh, this structure is so old. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, it sounds like nice. It sounds pretty. Yeah. You know, it sounds pretty. So you could tell me, for example, what's a, a famous monument? in paris eiffel tower <laughs> to me the eiffel tower is not really a monument that's just my okay. opinion you know eiffel tower is is a different thing but uh it's a structure but i a monument would be something uh momentous momentous mm -hmm. regarding so you have the arc de triomphe the arc de triomphe the name is arc de triomphe the arc de triomphe would you write it i uh, should yeah. Look at that. yeah. If you go to Paris on the Champs Elysees, if you go to the Champs Elysees, I heard of it. I think, yeah, but I, um, tree um tree. I don't know. I don't know how you spell the tree um. Architrium. No. Hippodrome, we say. No. Architrium. Triom. Yeah. T T T. Architrium. Let me see if I get the right spelling. No. It's not Architrium. Anyway, it's spelled like this. You, you, mm -hmm. If you Google it similar, you'll get it. It's Architrium. Uh, like this. Okay, it's similar. Triumph. I don't have um, Arc de Triomphe. Arc de Triomphe. It's 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 a memorial. It's a monument that that is designated for people who were killed mm -hmm. in the war, in the wars. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it's called the Arc de Triomphe, and it's a famous because it's at the top. It's at the top of the mm -hmm. Eiffel of the the Champs Elysees. Champs Elysees is a famous boulevard. The yeah, large boulevard. Know. So if you start from the bottom, if you look from the bottom up, you'll see it because it rises slightly. It rises. You see the Arc de Triomphe there. I, and then they have Plastic Concord, the Plastic Concord. Yeah. I should pay it a visit. You have to. You have to. No, you have to go to Paris. You have to go to mm -hmm. Paris. Je, je vous ai... Uh, J'aime ai Paris. <laughs> Okay, landmark, landmark. Landmark is a sign, I think. Landmark. Landmark is an object or feature of landscape or town that is easily seen and recognized from a distance. So, you know, like, for example, the Eiffel Tower, mm -hmm. if, if, if you're, like, a, a far away, if you're far away, mm -hmm. 
and you said, I want to go to Paris. I'm, I'm driving to Paris. If you see up in the sky, you'll see the, the Eiffel Tower. Huh. Oh, yeah, that's the Paris. landmark. You know you're in Paris, the landmark. You know, For example, when you come to Turkey and after you see the Hagia Sophia, okay, right. this is Istanbul, right? Right. Uh, uh, I shared a photo uh, to you on Instagram. Did you see it? No, no, I haven't. I haven't seen uh, it. Hagia Sophia. Oh, okay. I haven't <laughs> seen it. My, my phone has been confiscated. Huh. Yeah, by my son. By my son. <laughs> he took my phone. <laughs> I haven't seen it in two days. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll check, I'll check it out. I'll look at it. Yeah, this is. I think you see it. Because you, oh, I did. I don't remember. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I saw that. Yeah. That's it. That's a. Um, that's a Sophia. The Hagia is Sophia. Yeah, because that's the uh-huh. I shared the video story on my account. Yeah, this is the best day of the week. Oh wow, that's lovely, man. What now? You were I. You're in the Bos, uh, Bolshevik River. The uh, Bosphorus. I the was Bosphorus. in the Bosphorus. Yeah. Bosphorus. Yeah, the Bosporus River. What do you, you go for on a on a ferry or what? What is that? Or a speedboat? What What is it that you went on? Uh, I think yeah, ferry. Or a ferry. Or we can use maybe ferry, but if I remember, I will say. You let me know. You let me know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we say okay. I think it is ferry, but I I need to check it out. Check it out. Oh, okay. check it. Steamboat. 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 Steamboat, yes. Okay, that must be that must be nice. So you go yeah. uh now did you cross the the river or you just took a ride around? A ride around. No, I uh I crossed the river. I how could say? I passed the river. You go across, you went across. Huh. From, I went you across. Went, okay, you went from Istanbul. Um, to from the European side, you went to the Asian side. Exactly. Okay. It's okay. So, uh, for, uh, steamboat. How to say steamboat? Steamboat. Steamboat. Well, uh, it takes, for example, a cross to, uh, crossing from mm-hmm. Asia to Europe side. It takes uh, thirty minutes, maybe, maybe twenty minutes, and okay. it costs. Uh, approximately 30 cents. 30 cents? Yeah. That's inexpensive. That's inexpensive. Wow. 30 cents. Uh, uh-huh. uh, it, is it? 30 cents is nothing. Yes. 30, 30 <laughs> cents. That's pretty Maybe cool. Might be. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if you do the translation between the 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 change yeah. between real, I mean liras and and mm-hmm. dollars is thirty cents. Wow! I paid, I paid uh, uh, five. We say instead of cent, kurush. Uh, because of my job, I paid uh, any. I paid any liras. Oh, okay, so you got a discount because you're a healthcare worker. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, you got a. I, oh, right. I uh, I uh, went to uh, many places okay. and it, it cost zero years. Oh, wow. So yeah. if I came around and I told them I'm a doctor, <laughs> so they said, okay, come on in, come on in. Please, come on. But come on. already it's not, it's not so... Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, so it, it, it doesn't expensive. Okay. It's already so doesn't how- expensive. How, how long does it take to cross? How long? It's approximately over 20 minutes. Oh, that's a long time. That takes long. 20 minutes mm-hmm. is long. So you go mm-hmm. you go there and you return. So that's 40 minutes total. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But well, people I, prefer, I, uh, yeah. people prefer to go to uh, go with by a uh, team board, right? Oh, okay. Steam because board. it's so enjoying. Oh, enjoyable! It's so enjoyable. It's so enjoyable, yeah. Okay, so it's like a it's like a, a day trip. It's like a little fun trip to take, you know, with the family. You go there, you sit down, you enjoy it. The breeze is nice. Yeah, breeze is nice. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. cool. That's nice. All right, let's see. Um, okay, let me. Yeah, let's go ahead and read. Go ahead. The Eiffel Tower. Even mm -hmm. though the Eiffel Tower was initially built as a temporary mm -hmm. installation, it has become one of the most enduring symbols of France. Now, it certainly is one of the most recognizable mo monuments in the world. At the height of uh, 340 for uh, 300, 324 meters, it mm -hmm. is the tallest structure in Paris. It is right. possible to climb to the top of the tower, but mm -hmm. there are 1,665 steps. So, unsurprisingly, most people take the lift. Right. And the enchanting beauty of the tower attracts visitors from all over the world. Mm -hmm. It should come as no surprise that it, uh, the uh, Eiffel Tower is the most visited paid tourist attraction in the world. In 2011, 6.98 bill million people visit, visited the tower. Mm -hmm. The tower was named after the the engineer Gustav Eiffel, Gustav, Gustav, yeah, Gustav Eiffel, whose company designed and built the tower. This structure was the to tallest, tallest building in the world when it was completed in 1889. Mm -hmm. It held this record for 40 years until it was surprised by the. Surpassed, surpassed, surpassed. I'm sorry, it was surpassed by the Chris Chrysler, mm. mm -hmm. Chrysler, the Chrysler building, in New York. the Chrysler building in New York City. Mm -hmm. As a global landmark, the Eiffel Tower is featured, 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 featured. Uh huh. Could you say that again? Featured, featured, yeah, featured, featured in many films. Mm -hmm. video games and television shows in addition many replicants many replicas and similar monuments of different size have been right. constructed cons cons constructed constructed right const constructed around the world such as Tokyo Tower or the Las, Las Vegas Eiffel Tower mm -hmm. okay so where is the Eiffel Tower located? Uh, in Paris. 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 Who is the tower named after? Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Who is the name? Huh, okay. Uh, Gast Gasto, how could you say this? Gustav. Gustav. Gustav Eiffel. Eiffel, right. Is it? Eiffel Tower, the tallest building in the world. Mm. No, it isn't. Mm. Because according to the uh, essay, mm -hmm. uh, Eiffel Tower had, uh, had the tallest record, tallest building record for 40 mm -hmm. years. Right. Uh, but uh, by the time, Chrysler, Chrysler building, Chrysler, the Chrysler, Chrysler building, uh, mm -hmm. passed uh, its record. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, after four four years, Chrysler building passed uh, Eiffel Tower's record. Right, right. Of course, that's all changed now. You know, that's all changed. That's all changed. Yeah. Yeah, because you know. Since that time, since that period of time, you've had uh, the you've had the World Trade Center, which was one time the tallest building. You've had the Sears Tower in Chicago, which passed the World Trade Center. You've had the uh, the towers, the insurance towers in in Kuala Lumpur, which passed both of them. So, um, and now I think the tallest building in the world is in Dubai. Dubai, I think. Dubai, so. yeah, I heard of it. Yeah. Um, it the the structure was built mm -hmm. uh, for this year latest. Right. 
the, tr the structure was built the latest, right? The, the, the was built. How was the um, reading? You, how was your reading? Good, very good. You, you, you know, you certain words like Chrysler, Gustav, you had a little problem with, but other than that, you did exceptionally well. Hamza, you're reading very well, man. Yeah, thanks. And then the word surpassed, 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 completed, yeah. and then um, constructed, constructed. Constru okay. Actually, I knew it is good. Uh, constructed. Yeah, I, yeah, I heard yeah. it. Super but but I mean, otherwise, your reading is excellent. Very good. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Have you ever been to Paris and visited the Eiffel Tower? If not, would you like to? I haven't, but I would like to go there. I would like to visit there because uh, the Eiffel Tower is a symbol of, right. the, uh, of the Paris and France. Right. And, uh, I would like to take a photo from there. Right. And I want to see it uh, near to Eiffel Tower. I want mm -hmm. to close my eyes. I just want to think I am in Paris mm -hmm. and I am far from many I am far from my hometown <laughs> but it's okay and everything is doing good I found I uh, arrived my dreams right yeah, that's all okay well that's I mean that would be fantastic what okay. can you say about the Eiffel Tower what can you say about it uh, Eiffel Tower it's it's uh, for the Eiffel Tower uh, especially people who get married, right? Mm -hmm. uh, go there, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, there, there's a good place to um, to get now uh, propose to propose to to get engaged, engaged, get engaged, right? Right. Uh, or yeah, to get engaged, good place to be engaged, engaged. Marriage proposal? No. What's that? Uh, to propose marriage. Yeah, to propose. propose. Yeah. 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 It's a nice place to propose marriage. Exactly. Mm -hmm. if, if I were a rich per person, mm -hmm. um, I would propose a marriage in, uh, in there. And if you would take, there's, a, there's an area that you could stand in the Eiffel Tower. I'll see if I find a photograph. I'm still looking for a lot of my photos. I can't find them. I don't know what happened to them. But if I could find that photo, it's a nice area that you could stand and has a beautiful view of the Eiffel Tower. And you could stand there and you could take a photo of with the Eiffel Tower in the background. It's very pretty, you know? Exactly, it is. Yeah. So that'd be nice. Um, okay, let's see the next question. Why do you think the tower became a global cultural icon? Why do you think it became so important? Global cultural icon. I read a story about it, but mm -hmm. now I don't uh, I don't realize it why. You, okay, well, you, do you know? If you were, well, you know, obviously Paris is a very symbolic city, right? Mm -hmm. Paris represents in essence the um uh it, it's sophistication, a sophisticated city. Sophistication. Okay. When you think of a city and you said what is the most sophisticated city in the world? Paris is definitely number in the top one or two, in my opinion, the best, okay? Sophistication. So it's beautiful, it's iconic, it has many things. So Eiffel Tower is symbolic of that, that elegance, elegance, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. It's like Istanbul, right? Because uh, mm -hmm. the structure, the symbol of the word, structure, right. uh, if there uh, were a symbol of the word, it would be... Uh, um, Eiffel Tower, but right. if there were a country in the world, uh, it would be uh, Istanbul in the world. The Napoleon Istanbul. said, "Yes." Okay. What do you? What is the most beautiful monument that you have ever seen? Um, Hagia Sophia is the monument. Okay, and could you describe it? Of course. Um, Hagia Sophia is, as you know, you know, um, so old structure, right? From Byzantium, from uh, mm -hmm. Roma, right? Ro Roman, yeah. Roman and um, Constantinople. 
كونستانتينوبول and uh, Hagia Sophia destroyed many times in 19, mm. uh, not 19, uh, 12, 12 or 12 or, mm. how could you, I, did, I want to know this. 12 or 4. 12 or 4, for wow. example, in these years. Mm. And, but, uh, I have to say this. I want to say something, but I I need to prepare myself. Okay, and Hagia Sophia seems so beautiful, and uh, it's a common things. Uh, it's a point for many cultures, for Christian, for Muslims, right? Right. And uh, for many countries like Russia, like European people, mm -hmm. and. Hagia Sophia is a uh, cult cultural heritage. Cultural heritage, right? Yeah, and uh, you can you, you can breathe history in there, mm -hmm. and this kind of things, maybe. Okay, all right. So it's a fantastic monument. Uh, now they have the blue the blue mosque, right? Blue mosque, yes, near yeah. to Hagia Sophia. Okay. So which one, I mean, obviously the Hagia Sophia is older, right? It's older. Exactly older. Uh, because which is pretty inside, which is pretty inside. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Um, have you have which, you seen it? I've seen both. I mean, I've seen Hagia Sophia. I think the blue mosque is pretty inside, right? It's all blue, I think. Is that why they call it the Not blue all mosque? blue. Oh. But uh, in English name is blue. Mosque, right. Bully Mosque. We right. say Sultan Ahmed. Sultan Ahmed. Okay. Yeah, in Turkish name. Uh, when you come to Turkey, if you say Bully Mosque, nobody knows it. Okay. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's. But uh, not totally. A little bit blue, but. Okay. Uh, yeah. Totally. Wow, that's, like, that's color Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the, just the, the the structures are so fantastic. The architecture. Mm, yeah. Spectacular. I mean, just when was the Blue Moss built? When did they build that? Um, Sol Sultan uh, first Ahmed terms. Oh, Ahmed the first. Okay. Ahmed the first in in time of Ahmed the first. Okay. Sixteen. Uh, uh, 1600 years, thousand years, 16, 16 or something, year 16, 16 or something, yeah, year of 16 or something. Okay, wow, it looks back. I mean, it looks, uh, when I come now, why did they have to build the half year Sophia next to the blue mark? Well, I mean, why did they build one next to each other? What was the reason for that? I think, uh, the Sultan, the Sultan won it. Because I, I I read an article about it uh, okay. to show their authority. Oh, show, I see. Yeah, because in the uh, the Ottoman times, right? Uh, they they show their authority with structure. Some some uh, sultans, right? They wanted to show their authority and their uh, power, maybe, right? Do you know? Uh, Architecture Mimar, uh, architecture Sina. Sina, no, I don't know architecture. Yeah. Architect Sina. We Sina. say Mimar Sinan, yeah. Okay. He's the most famous architecture. Architect. architect. He's the he was the most arch, he is the most architect uh, mm -hmm. in in this story in Turkish story. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have to check him out. I have he edited something. Uh, he adding something to I so Sophia, right? Hagia Sophia. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll I'll look I'll look him up. I'll look him up. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, my friend Hamza. My friend, time passed by so quickly. Yeah, man. But I, I'm gonna look this when I have a lot of things when I come to Turkey. I have a lot to visit. 
a lot of history. I have to take a lot of photographs, you know. Of course. Like Time balance to us. Yeah. <laughs> take care. Say to hello to your family. All right. I will. I will. Bye-bye.